Okay, so I promised you another example where I'm actually going to use that little cheat I showed in the previous video. Okay, so um, we must find the general term for this one. So somewhere they are asking me find the general term. I say okay, and very sneakily I just go do my uh, difference test. So 28 minus 5 is 23. Okay, 65 minus 28, it's, uh, what is it, 57, 37, and then 116 minus 65 gives me 11, 111, so it's 59, is it? 51, okay, it's 51 now for my second difference, it's get creative again different colors okay nice and uh, 37 minus 23 gives me 14 is it is 14 and also 51 minus uh, 37 will also give me 14 yeah I've got my constant second difference and remember this was term 1 term 2 term 3 and term 4 and we are going to use that sneaky trick to use easier formulas by just going to find term 0 term 0 means that uh, this was 14 units backwards so instead of being at 23 um, we were at let's subtract 14 from there it gives me 9 okay which means 5 from this number Five, 9 onwards would take me to 5 so 5 minus 9 gives me negative 4 so my first term used to, or my 0 term is negative 4 and now I can use these ones and my cheating formulas okay of C is equal to that A plus B is equal to that and 2A is equal to that C quite a bit easier those formulas and again wh what am, wh what's this a b and c well it's just because my general term for a quadratic sequence is a n squared plus b n plus c nice okay so remember to go and watch the video if you haven't on where does this come from don't trust me guys um, I'm not trustworthy okay 2a is equal to 14 which means a is equal to 7 then we have a plus b is equal to 9 well since a is equal to 7 it means b must be equal to 2 because 7 plus 2 is equal to 9 and then finally c we already have because we used our cheat c is equal to negative 4 so here's my general term quick and easy t n is equal to mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 7n squared plus 2n minus 4 okay and that's not it they might just ask us a little bit more challenging question like they might ask us something like which term which term is equal to seven one six. Okay, now that does not mean what is the seven hundred and sixteenth term. No, n is not that. We want to find n so that t n is equal to that. In other words, t n is equal to seven one six. Okay, so which term is equal to that? So my term value is equal to that, which means I have. Um, 7 n squared minus plus 2 n minus 4 is equal to 716 which means it's 7 n 2 plus 2 n minus 720 is equal to 0 and it's going to be quite a task putting this in two brackets okay if you're up to it go ahead but I am going to use the quadratic formula and therefore I just say negative 2 plus minus the square root of and let's calculate that 
Okay, b squared, that means it's 2 squared, it's 4. 4 minus 4 times 7, that's 4a, times c, which is 720, but a negative number. Okay, gives me 2014. Okay, 2014, 2164, all divided by 14 because it's 2 times a. And now just the square root of that, square root of that is 140. Okay, and it will always be a nice number. So it's negative 2 plus minus 142. 142. If it's not a nice number, then you know you've made a mistake. So, okay, let's see what's that equal to. Okay, 140 minus 2 is equal to 140 divided by 14. Okay, it's either equal to 10, either n is equal to 10, or n is equal to negative 2 minus 142 divided by 14. Ugh, negative 10 comma 2, 8 stuff. 257, 2857, and it goes on. Okay, this is absolute nonsense. Nonsense. Okay, not really. It's actually not applicable, but it does make no sense because we can't have negative terms. Okay, so this is nonsense. But um, this one seems perfectly good. In other words, T10 is equal to 716. Cool.